and welcome back to the channel and as you can see we have entered into the decades challenge year 2010 and it says all rules from the 2000s still stand with the following changes we can now have the same sex marriages we have some career changes females still can't be in the military career we have any part-time work is allowed. We have a couple of miscellaneous changes, but aside from that, everything now is opened up due to the fact that we are in the year 2010, and we are going to go ahead and jump into our game and get started. Now that we are in the year 2010, we haven't had any real changes to our property um, due to the year changing just because we are in a new property as it stands, as it were. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump on in. As we know, we are with Siobhan and her husband, Dean, and they have Mateo, and they are just trying to get on. As we know, Dean did recently get himself a job because he is a young adult, and he is trying to come to terms with the fact of Mateo being his and being unwanted, and now that he's getting a little bit older, he is coming to terms with that. He's kind of getting to an understanding of the fact that he has a job to do. He has this fatherly duty that he needs to take care of his wife he needs to take care of his son and he has this this job that he has to go to and he gets to support them and provide for them and he's starting to get a little bit better understanding now that he's a little bit older and it's starting to come a little bit more clear to him and it's giving him this level of acceptance that he didn't have as a younger person and when he was a teenager he just couldn't really grasp this concept and he really wasn't able to accept Mateo. He really wasn't able to bond with him. But now that he's getting a little bit older, he is finding that this is starting to finally dawn on him. It's finally starting to make sense. And it's making him want to have that relationship with his son. And so I think you'll find that he is going to be spending a little bit more time with Mateo. He is going to be wanting to spend more quality time with him and he's going to have a better relationship with him. I think that in turn is going to have a better family dynamic overall for this couple um, and a family as a whole because this is what Siobhan has wanted this whole time is for her family to be a whole family loving unit and so I do think that is going to be a good thing. It says he doesn't like handiness. Well that's fine. He doesn't have to like handiness. Um, he does have to continue repairing that though. <laughs> so um, that being said I do think that Siobhan's going to be happy when she notices the change in Dean and it's going to really make her overall in a better place. We also in this episode are going to be seeing Siobhan age up <laughs> into a young adult. She is getting to a place where she is going to be aging up. She is scheduled to become a young adult very shortly. I do believe in this episode she's going to be becoming a young adult. I think that her brother is um, scheduled to be aging up and as we know she is the twin of Charles so when he ages up she'll have to age up so we'll be aging her up as well and <laughs> that will be fantastic to see her go ahead and age up so we'll be having a birthday for Siobhan so that she can go ahead and become a young adult and then when she becomes a young adult we'll have to get her in a career as well she's just currently working on a little bit of homework because as we know she does like to go ahead and do her studies and things of that nature so I'm just letting her go ahead and work on those things even though she is about to become a young adult she is like while I have these studies that need to be done I might as well go ahead and put my best foot forward and so she is going ahead and working on those things so we're just gonna have her go ahead and work on that and that'll be great and then after that I am gonna see if she maybe wants to go out for a little bit of a jog and maybe that will get her a little bit of fun in her life um, as you can see everybody is feeling a little bit uncomfortable everyone has a little bit of a cold I do believe that has something to do with the fact that they've got some allergies going on um, and so that is not necessarily a good thing. I am just going to go ahead and um, get Dean enrolled in the banker career. He is going to be a banker as his job. And so that is the career he has decided on um, obtaining. So he will be a banker as his career. So that is perfect. He will go and do the banker career. I think that will be good for him because he will have to use his knowledge of um, logic and programming and all of those things that he already was kind of working on he will have to use those things in his career so we are just going to get him up here playing a little bit more chess 
so that he can get a little bit more logic skill and that will get that up for him and then I do think he also will have to learn a little bit of charisma so we'll get him working on some of his charisma skill so that will be good for him so overall he will obviously um, I hope progress in his career and do really well at that but first and foremost I, I just want him to really bond with his family and for that to to shine through that um, you know he is starting to come around when it comes to his family and for us to see that dynamic start to shift. So I do think that Siobhan and his relationship is going to obviously develop and change as well and grow a little bit stronger. Not that it was lacking in any way because it really wasn't. They have always been really strong as a unit. They have always had a really close relationship. They are soulmates and very much in love. But I think that her seeing that he's going to bond with Mateo is going to make their relationship even that much stronger. And you'll see that she is going to want to bond with him closer. And they'll probably even have a little bit more intimacy and things of that nature. So she's just going out for a little bit of a run. She is just wanting to get some exercise in. Even though she's not feeling the greatest, she is quite uncomfortable because of her cold. She does know that she does need to stay fit. And so she is wanting to, you know, come out and just get her daily jog in. She does like to go for a daily jog. It makes her feel really rejuvenated. She likes to go out and get some fresh air. And so she is just trying to make sure she lets her body get what it needs every day. And she just really thinks that it makes her feel good. It gives her, you know, a, a nice, um, you know, peace of mind. And she just really thinks it's good for her, not just her body, but her spirit and her mind as well. So she's just getting her nice little jog in for the day and then she'll head herself back on home. As you can see, Mateo is off to preschool currently because he does go to preschool during the day, so that's fantastic. It does give the parents a little bit of time away from him where they can just do kind of adult things and focus on their own skill building and their own hobbies and even some alone time together so that they can have some time to themselves. And so I think that's good. And of course, when they go to work, he'll go to preschool as well. So, so. And so that will be fantastic. So now that she's back from her run, we're just going to go ahead and send her off to the shower because she's feeling definitely disgusting. And so we're going to let her get herself cleaned up a little bit here. He is still just working on chess, getting his logic skill up. And he's doing quite well at that. He does have to get to level two, I believe. And so we're just letting him work on that. And he has completed a milestone. So that's fantastic. So he is really trucking along here and that's wonderful it looks like mateo has reached potty level three as well while he was at preschool today so perfect for us so once dean is done doing his chess i am going to have him go and use the washroom and just take care of some of his needs and then i'll have him go down and start working on some of his charisma skill I want him getting up that skill as well. So I'm just queuing up some things for him. But as you can see, Siobhan's come in to chat with him a little bit. She just wants to see how he's doing for the day. And she's just like, how is your studying going? And he's like, it's going really well. I think that I'm making really good progress for work. And she's like, oh, that's fantastic news. And he's like, yeah, I think it's gonna go really, really well. I think that whenever I start my first shift, I'm gonna blow them out the park. And she's like, that's fantastic news, Dean. So she's come on down here to watch a little bit of television and she's gonna clean up a little bit, I hope. Um, I do find that in this house, for whatever reason, they really struggle at keeping this place clean. And so anytime they decide to autonomously clean up, I am thrilled, but they definitely struggle with keeping this place clean. And so I am gonna have her then also go ahead and just get some cooking done so that they will have something to eat here in the house because she's starting to get a little bit hungry. And once Mateo comes home from preschool, I'm sure he's gonna wanna have some food here in the house. And of course, he's broken the sink. You're gonna have to repair that, bud. He's like, I hate handiness. All right, so I'll just replace that because as we know, he hates handiness. So I'll just repair it or replace it and let him continue on with his charisma. It will be fine. 
So she decided to not cook that. I really wish you would cook this meal and we will continue on. I don't know what it is about this house, but for whatever reason, they have struggles cleaning, they have struggles cooking. Um, it, it's really frustrating sometimes. I don't know if there's like some kind of glitch in the house itself or if there is a glitch in my game or <laughs> I'm not really sure what the problem is. I didn't have this problem when I lived in the main household before, but I definitely have this problem in this household. So yeah, she just set the house on fire. Okay, can you extinguish that? Don't, don't uh, set yourself on fire. And don't run from it. You're actually gonna have to escape. Okay. okay, let's put that out. Alright. Oh my god, we're gonna burn the whole bloody house down. Who are you? We have some strange person in our house. Okay. Dean's like, oh my gosh, what happened? And she's like, I was trying to make tomato soup with grilled cheese and the whole house just started burning down. And he's like, oh my gosh. She's like, yeah, I'll try again, honey. And he's like, okay. This time, can we maybe not burn the house down? And she's like, yeah, we'll try that. All right, so I'm gonna get her to try again, and hopefully this time she won't burn the house down. Mateo is home from preschool, as you can see. He seems to be in a really happy mood, which is fantastic. And let's just get her to go ahead and try to make this meal again. Hopefully this time she can do it without catching the house on fire, because really she is quite hungry. And so she desperately does need to make this meal so that she can go ahead and eat something. And I think that part of her is thrilled that she's in this area and she can maybe learn about the culture of the area. But I think part of her is also missing home. And she's thinking to herself, you know, I, I really miss Oasis Springs. And I really miss that I'm not there anymore. I really miss the fact that I'm not with my brother. I'm not, you know, in that area. And I think that she is really homesick um you know a lot of her family moved to tartosa and she obviously doesn't want to be in tartosa with them because that isn't home to her but oasis springs is her home and charles has stayed in the main household there in oasis springs and that's the home that she misses and part of her is like longing to be there with him um not necessarily that that she just has to live with her brother but she she misses her brother because they are twins and she also misses that that family home and she's thinking to herself you know i wonder if you know we made the right decision moving here all the way away from our family and you know mateo doesn't get to see anybody and you know, she's really struggling with this fact. You know, she thought it was going to be a good idea to run away from her problems and to, you know, hide away because she was feeling shame. But now she What's has gotten that? older Jesus. and she's realizing <laughs> there's nothing really for her to, to feel you that way. Swamps? Like, she doesn't Everybody have to feel it. shame. She yeah, feels nothing but pride about the fact that she has Mateo. Like, she loves him. And she's thinking to herself, like, he's my pride and joy. He is one of the best things that I've done in my life. And yes, I was young when I had him but I am happily married. My husband has a good job. I'm about to graduate from high school and I'll get a good job. And she's thinking, you know, what is there to be shameful about? And, you know, she's thinking, I don't have any reason to have ran away. And part of her is really starting to wonder if she's made the right decision and if she should just go back home. If she's back in Oasis Springs, she'll be closer to her brother. She'll be closer to her mother. She won't necessarily be close to her father and them because they moved to Tartosa, but she can always visit them, obviously. Um, and so she's really toying with the idea that maybe she might need to move back. And she's not really sure what she wants to do quite yet. <laughs> she did come here thinking that she wanted to learn the culture. She came here really though out of fear. She came here out of shame. And while she thinks it's beautiful, she's lonely. Um, yes, she has her husband here, um, but her husband doesn't have any family here either. Like it, it literally is just them and they're trying to start new. And if you've noticed, they've been nothing but sick since they've been here. And it's not conducive to learning about the culture of a place if you can't do anything because you're constantly sick. And so she's thinking, maybe it's not 
it's not meant to be. So I don't know how you guys feel about them possibly moving back to the area of Oasis Springs, but let me know in the comments below what you think about that. And um, because Siobhan is really homesick and she's missing home and she's thinking that she wants to move back. So as you can see, she's just taking care of Mateo right now. She's just giving him a little bit of a clean. He was feeling really, really grungy, and she was like, you need a bath. So she's just going to go ahead and clean him up here and get him all squared away. And then we are going to let her go ahead and take care of some of her needs. I do think that she needs to go ahead and get herself a little bit of rest. She looks like she's feeling a little bit tired herself. And it looks like Dean has gone ahead and he's given himself a little bit of a rest as well. It is starting to get a little bit later on in the day here and so I think everyone needs to kind of go ahead and wind down for the evening. So I'm going to let her go ahead and head herself off to bed after she's done with Mateo here and Mateo is obviously not tired at all because he had a full day at daycare, yes, but they come home with full perfect needs and so we'll let him go in his room and just play for a little while. I'm going to have Dean go ahead and get up and just take care of a couple of things and um, then he can just, really, I wanted you to clean, okay, that's fine. He's just going to work on a little bit more logic and then we'll head him back off to bed again. Um, but I do want him to get to that level two of logic skill and there he did it just like that. Okay, that's wonderful. So um, I did want him just getting that level two of his logic up. And then if you could just clean up that pile of mess, that would be fantastic. That would be so fantastic. All right, so he is just going to go ahead and clean up this. And then we'll head him back off to bed. And I'm going to go ahead and get her down here to make herself a cake. Because as you see, um, Charles did just age up to a young adult. And so we're going to go ahead and age her up to a young adult. So she's going to go ahead and make herself a birthday cake. And we'll go ahead and celebrate her birthday. So she's just going to go ahead and make herself a nice little honey cake here. Hopefully she doesn't burn the house down. I'm really paranoid about her burning the house down now. Clearly she does not have very good cooking skill. <laughs> But there's her honey cake that she made. It's fantastic. We're just going to have her put some candles on that. And then we will have her go ahead and blow out those candles. So add the candles to your cake. And then you can blow out your candles and become a young adult. So happy <laughs> birthday, Siobhan. You are becoming a young adult. It took her a couple of tries there. <laughs> She's like, well, you know... It is sometimes a little bit difficult to get all the candles in one go. All right, so she is officially a young adult now. We are going to go ahead and get her enrolled in a little bit of a career here. She is now officially out of high school, and we will go ahead and we'll get her signed up for a career. Now, both of them are going to be signed up in a career. I think I'm going to go ahead and get her enrolled in, let's do culinary. She needs to learn something culinary. To get better at it <laughs> she really does so we'll put her in the culinary career that way she can get better at culinary stuff because she um, clearly is not that great at it and needs to get better so we'll put her in the culinary career and that will hopefully get her a little bit better at that and then we will go ahead and have them both now enrolled in a career which is fantastic where are you going, little guy? You need to go to bed. It is really late. It is time for sleep. I'm going to go ahead and put him to sleep, and then I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so as you can see, it is the next morning, and everyone is going ahead and getting up. I am just going to go ahead and let them take care of their needs. It looks like Dean is heading to the washroom, and Siobhan is going to go ahead and grab herself something to eat. She's feeling a little bit hungry, so she's going to go ahead and have a little bit of this grilled cheese and tomato soup that she had made the night before so we are just going to go ahead and let her grab a serving of that so hopefully she'll actually sit down and eat that so we're just going to let her go ahead and do that and then I am going to go ahead and let the adults have a little bit of a conversation she's just going to let Dean that she has gone ahead and gotten herself a new job and he's going to be like really what are you going to be doing and she's going to tell him that 
she has gotten a job as a culinary um, dishwasher and he'll, or like as a dishwasher and she's, he's going to be like, oh, okay. And she's going to be like, I'm trying to, you know, climb the ranks. I want to be a chef. And he'll be like, that is really exciting, Siobhan. I really hope that, you know, that works out for you. And I think that you're going to do great at that. And she's like, do you think so? And he's like, well, look at this honey cake that you made. It's fantastic, by the way. And she's like, oh, I'm so glad you like it, honey. And he's like, yeah, it's really good. And he's like, by the way, happy belated birthday. And she's like, thanks, love. And she's like, I also wanted to thank you so much for how much you're trying with Mateo. And he's like, oh, honey, you don't have to thank me for that. And she's like, yes, I do. I know it's not easy for you, but I do notice how hard you're working and how hard you're trying. And I just want you to know how much it really means to me. And he's like, well, you're very welcome, baby. You know, I just... I. I've, I've realized how important it is for us to be a family, and, you know, I love Mateo as much as you do. It just took me a while to get there, and she's like, you have no idea how important it is for me to hear you say that. And as you can see, these two have decided that they're going to go on upstairs, and they're going to have themselves a little bit of um, intimacy time, because Siobhan is feeling really... We're going to send Mateo to school. Siobhan is feeling really um, passionate with Dean about Dean over him bonding with Mateo and she is like I love the fact that he has bonded with him I love the fact that he's trying so hard and it's really ignited her passion for him over this and she's like I this is all I ever wanted was for him to you know be this man that I knew he could be be this father that I knew he could be and I knew he had it in him all along and so this has really ignited this passion in her. And as you can see, it's made her and him want to go and woohoo. So they have gone ahead and they've gone to woohoo here. As usual, Siobhan is going to go. She's going to have herself a pregnancy test. After they woohoo, every single time after they woohoo, she always goes and takes a pregnancy test. She is on the pill. She is taking the pill. So she does protect herself against pregnancies. But she still takes a pregnancy test after every woohoo just to make sure she doesn't um, get pregnant because she wants to be sure of if she's going to get pregnant. She doesn't necessarily want to get pregnant. She doesn't necessarily want another child. Um, but she still checks just to be sure. Um, and so she is, as you can see, taking herself a little bit of a pregnancy test here because she wants to see if anything happened from that woohoo. And as you can see, it looks like that woohoo in the midst of their passion over her being excited over him accepting Mateo has resulted in a pregnancy. And she is, well, guys, she's a little upset. Um, Siobhan was not expecting this. She was not expecting to be pregnant. She was not wanting to be pregnant. And now she is, once again, having an unwanted pregnancy. And she's like, oh my gosh, not again. I'm not ready for this. I just wanted to love on my husband. I was just excited. It was the heat of the moment. I was not expecting a pregnancy. Like, I'm on the pill. I'm trying to protect myself against being pregnant. And, like, I'm not supposed to be able to get pregnant on the pill. But, you know, realistically, the pill is not 100%. And you can still get pregnant on the pill. And she has. And she's not happy about it. She's once again having an unwanted pregnancy do we know that she can come to terms with this pregnancy obviously she can is it going to take work yes we are going to have to, to though tell dean that she's pregnant and she's scared to tell dean that she's pregnant because she knows that dean didn't want mateo in the first place and you know she's like thinking to herself he already didn't want mateo and he's just now after all this time come to terms with mateo and now I have to tell him that I'm pregnant again. And she's worried that he's not going to want this pregnancy too. And she's worried that he's going to be really upset. And she's thinking to herself, what am I going to do if we both don't want this baby? And, you know, how am I, how am I going to handle that if we're right back at square one all over again just a few years later? And so she's freaking out. She really is. She's really, really sad. But what, what Siobhan doesn't know is, is that Dean is older now. He is at a different place in his life. And he does want 
or he would be happy right now to have a child. Both of them are off to work, as you can see. So I will um, see you when they get back home. So Dean is in a place now where he is older. He is a little bit wiser. He has come to a place where he has accepted Mateo and he is like, I am a provider. I'm a supporter. I am all of these things. And he is like just in a different headspace now. And because of that, he, he would not mind if she were pregnant. She doesn't know that, but he, he wouldn't mind. And I think that if she were to tell him he would be okay, but I think he would probably be upset that she were upset. And he probably would not be able to handle the news that his partner is upset about the fact that she's carrying his child. And I think that would probably devastate him. So she is going to have to obviously tell him that she is expecting a baby. And she is going to have to let him know that they're pregnant. And she obviously is going to be telling him like, look, I'm pregnant with an unwanted child. I don't want this baby. And of course he's gonna be like, okay, well great. She's gonna head off to a class here for unwanted pregnancy go to counseling and maybe that might help her a little bit. So I am just sending her off to a counseling class. As we know, we are trying to get her to a place where she'll accept this pregnancy. I'm just gonna get Dean to come on down here. He is taking care of a little bit of his needs because he needed to take a bath and things like that. But I am gonna have him come down and just kind of clean up a little bit. Um, the house is in disarray. And obviously I also want him to um, cook a little bit of food because everyone in the house him and Mateo are going to need to eat. So I am gonna have him just kind of take care of him and Mateo while she's out to counseling. Look at the house, like it is straight up ridiculous. I don't know how to keep it clean. Um, I really don't, but he is just being a good dad and taking care of him and Mateo right now. He's making sure that they are going to be able to be fed and I'm hoping he'll clean up a little bit and get the house picked up a little bit while Siobhan is gone. And once Siobhan gets back in, she's obviously going to need to eat something and take care of her needs. And then she is going to have to sit down and she's gonna have to tell Dean the news. And I'm sure he is, you know, gonna have his own feelings about the news, but he's gonna have to not let her know what his feelings are because he's going to have to deal with her feelings. And that's going to be hard for him because even if he's excited, he can't let her know he's excited because she's going to be so upset. And she is so upset because she's like, I don't want this baby. I don't want to deal with this. And he can't be like, yay, we're pregnant because she's like, I don't want this baby. And so... It's gonna be kind of hard for Dean, and I I really don't envy him. I really don't, um, and I, I just kind of feel bad for the whole for the whole scenario of him finally coming to terms with the fact that he's accepted this family dynamic and the fact that he's a father and having a family is what he wants, which is what Siobhan wanted for him, and now they're actually a family dynamic, and she's like, yeah, I still don't want kids. <laughs> so really, even though she wanted this for him and she wanted them to be a great family dynamic, she's kind of being a little bit of a hypocrite because she is like, yeah, I want you to be this great father and I want you to do this and I want you to do that. But she's not really doing the same thing for herself. And he's like thinking to himself, well, if I have to be this great dad and I have to be accepting and I have to do this and I have to do that, why, why does she not have to do that? So, yeah. Not really fair. So, unfortunately, Dean is stuck in a little bit of a pickle here with, with this whole scenario. He really is. Um, there is no middle ground, I don't think, when it comes to um, how to please Siobhan in this scenario because I don't think 
to be completely honest, I just don't think there's going to be any great way to make her happy. I just don't think that that anything in this present moment is going to make her happy. Like, he can't tell her, look, I'm doing everything you wanted. Why can't you do everything that you say you want me to do? Because then that's just going to cause an argument. Um, he, he, just gonna, he just has to kind of keep his mouth shut and be there and be that shoulder that she needs. So she is coming down. She's about to tell him now that she is pregnant and we're going to see how he takes it and how he takes the news of her telling him, look, I'm pregnant with a baby I don't want. So he's devastated that she doesn't want this baby. (laughs) But guys, I am going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when new episodes go live on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and fly for now. Bye, Ravens.